let's solve this integral by using specialized AI technology. In particular, I am using AITutor.io, a platform I created myself, which is specifically designed to help you with math and science exercises by guiding you through them step by step. In fact, it is freely available for anyone to use, so you can go and check it out. Let's dive in. We have the integral of x multiplied by 1 plus x squared dx. And after some thinking, you're quite stuck and don't know how to start. So then we turn to the AI tutor and simply ask for some help. Hello, I need some help solving the integral of x multiplied by the square root of 1 plus x squared. And it will reply, sure, to solve the integral of a function like this, we need to use substitution. And for most integral exercises, this is the largest hint you can get already, because a large part of the difficulty of solving integrals is knowing which integration method to use. And in this case, apparently, it is substitution. Now, of course, the majority of the work still needs to be done. In particular, for substitution, what we need to do is find the appropriate substitution variable. So a new variable, let's say u, written as a function of the old variable, x. So let's look at our integral. Now, the thing that makes this integral look difficult to solve is the square root of 1 plus x squared. Now, not that there's anything wrong with square roots, because we know how to solve the integral of square roots, but it's what's inside. We have this 1 plus x squared inside of the square root and only an x outside of the square root, so we cannot simply combine them. Therefore, a suggestion for substitution could be that we replace this 1 plus x squared with our u. So we propose that our substitution variable u is equal to x squared plus 1. And now we can check with the AI tutor to see whether this is indeed the right choice. So we fill in that we think that u is x squared plus 1 is a good choice. And it says that's a great choice. Now let's find the differential of u with respect to x, which is du over dx. And we know that this is indeed the step that we need to do in substitution, because we still need to get rid of this dx in our integral. In fact, we need to rewrite dx as a function of du. And to do this, we will differentiate our u with respect to x. So we need to calculate du over dx. This becomes quite simple because this 1 is just a constant, so it drops out. And we still have to derive this x squared to x, which of course is simply 2 times x. Now we can bring this x in the denominator to the other side of the equality sign. And therefore we have that du is equal to 2 times x dx. Again, to check whether we are on the right track, we can just tell the AI tutor what we found. We found that du is equal to 2x dx. And it says that we are indeed correct and that we now need to express dx in terms of du. And that's indeed correct because we need to rewrite this dx as a function of du. But that is simply just rewriting this equation that we found. And thus we find that dx is equal to 1 over 2x multiplied by du. Again, checking with our AI tutor, we find that indeed we are on the right track and we did the right calculations. Then it asks us to now fill in these substitutions, u and dx, into our original integral. And it also gives our original integral. So let's follow its guidance and do just that. So we get that our original integral is equal to x multiplied by the square root of 1 plus x squared, but we chose 1 plus x squared to be our substitution variable u. So we get the square root of u. Then we multiply by dx, but dx is equal to 1 over 2x du. And now we see, of course, that this x and this x in the denominator cancel out. And indeed, if we tell the AI tutor what we found, then it will say that we can indeed simplify our integral by canceling out this x. So then we get that our original integral is equal to one half times this following integral, the simplified integral of the square root of u du. So now if we tell the AI tutor that we found that our integral becomes this integral of the square root of u du, it will say that that is indeed correct and now we need to integrate this integral. However, if we forgot to mention this one half in front of the integral, 
and we want the AI tutor not to forget about it, then we can just say, well, hold on, you forgot the one half in front of it. And it will say, well, you're right, I apologize. And it will then put it back in front of the integral. And then it will ask us to integrate this remaining integral right here. Now, of course, you see that we simplified our integral by using substitution, and we know how to integrate the square root of a variable. This simply becomes two over three multiplied by this variable to the power of three halves. And if you want to check our result with the AI tutor, then we will see that it will say that it is almost correct and then continue to give exactly the result that we put in. Now, this is not an error, but maybe it interpreted our input in the wrong way and we can avoid it by putting brackets around the fractions. Now, as a good tutor, it reminds us that we still need to write the result in terms of x again, our original variable. Therefore, we just simply fill in u is equal to x squared plus one to get the final result. And of course, we can cancel these two twos. So the final result becomes one over three multiplied by one plus x squared to the power three halves. And if we check this result with our AI tutor and this time put the brackets correctly, then we see that indeed this is the right result. However, it does remark that because we're doing indefinite integration, we still need to add this constant c, which is always present for indefinite integration. And this is how we got this result by communicating with the AI tutor and solving it step by step. Note that it didn't just give the result right away, but actually guided us by asking the right questions. And in this way, it helps us learn tremendously because a lot of math and science is about asking the right questions. If you want to check out or try out this technology yourself, it is freely available at aitutor.io. I will leave a link in the description below. And with that, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.